Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. I hope everyone is doing okay. This video is six foods to buy in bulk. Good food, lower grocery costs. Okay. Like what? Well, for one thing, how about beans? So what I decided is I thought, why don't you give this bean thing some thought? And it's kind of like tuna. If it comes to the point where we're going to be eating beans, we want to make sure we have some good beans. So today I bought these uh, beans at Smart and Final. 16 bean soup mix. Um, this was pretty cheap. $2.99 and it's all kinds of different beans and I thought you know it's going to be more uh, nutritious so why I wanted to buy buy these beans or well what I wanted to think about beans now not when if I should ever have to eat them but I am going to eat them tomorrow so here are here is the 15 beans and I bought I bought, these are good beans. I could just eat these, but what I want to make tomorrow is, so I want to find bean stuff I want to eat. So tomorrow I want to make some seven layer dip. So I need 16 ounces of refried beans. So I prepared the beans today. What I did is I washed the beans really good. And so you can see these are small beans. They still take a while to cook, but I wash them real, I check for walks, wash them real good, covered them with um, water, and I added garlic and some dry onions, and I had turkey tails. Okay, I don't like to eat them at all, but they give your beans a really good flavor. So tomorrow I'm going to be able to make Mexicali refried beans to make my seven layer dip. But I also want to teach you guys how to make the Mexicali refried beans. If you haven't been following me for a long time, fry a, just one piece of bacon for a small amount. Then take the bacon out and you can eat it, you know, later. Then get some chorizo. I keep chorizo in my freezer at all times. Here it is. And you can cut a little piece off about this much, you know, just about an inch, and fry that in your bacon grease. Then add your beans and start heating them, and you can mash them. And then add meat, milk, little by little, to get your beans nice and creamy. Okay, so then for the seven layer dip, you need the one I make. 16 ounces refried beans, or you can use a can, but my refried beans are going to be much better than that. One package taco seasoning. You add in this, this sequence, one cup sour cream. And I like to keep sour cream around at all times anyway, so I can make sour cream or butter. One cup guacamole, one cup salsa, one cup lettuce, one cup Mexican cheese, one ounce sliced olives and one cup tomatoes so that is why i wanted to make these beans and that is what got me thinking about uh beans okay so i thought about there's baked beans and there's also navy beans and they say the most eaten bean is pinto beans when i buy pinto beans i buy the very small ones because they cook faster Okay, the next bean I wanted to think about was soybeans, and I've had nothing but trouble. Here's my one lone soy plant, and it got mashed down today by the sprinklers out front. So what this is, I thought, okay, that's it. I'm going to try to find some edamame. So edamame, I bought two of these, and they cost me 10 bucks. You cannot find soy in this town. Edamame is supposed to be immature soybeans. I'm going to try to sprout some of these even though they were frozen. But I, I have heard, I don't know if it's true or not, that soy can be bitter. So I toast, I um, dehydrated my 
Uh, where's that? Where's that soybean? Okay, here's how they came, and then here's what happened. And I just flipped them around, and and how I figured out if they were dehydrated is I just ate one. They taste pretty good. Now I put them in my blender, and I blended them into flour. I bought some noodles with soy paste, some some um, uh, ramen noodles. So they make a lot of things out of uh, soy flour. So this is really soy flour that I made. And I am just going to put it in a baggie and keep it in my refrigerator because this is $10. So let me show you this. So um, then I thought what I really want to do is learn how to make good soy milk, grow soy. So this is soy milk and three tablespoons of soy powder makes six cups of soy milk. And so uh, what I did after I tried blending it, I thought it isn't really incorporated good enough, so I cooked it until it was soft, and then, you know, here it is. And honestly, it tastes pretty darn good, too. So three tablespoons soy flour. I just roasted my 250 till they were dehydrated, and then I ground them. And then I just added... I started out with a table, one tablespoon for a cup, but it was way too thick and gluey. And with these kind of milks, like when I made almond milk, I found that after they sit in the freezer or the refrigerator for a while, your milk will taste really good. These were both full, so you can see I, I consume quite a bit. And then I thought the easier way is I bought this. This was on sale for $2.99. So all together today I paid $13 for the soy, but I got quite a bit. So this is freezable. So by freezing this, I should be able, this is probably the better way to make soy milk. But I want to make sure that I have soy flour because soy is more protein Wheat flour is good too, but in case something happens. So I will cut this up in about one quarter uh, cup pieces and I will freeze it. And then I will eat it. Okay, so I thought of beans, soybeans, then I thought of hummus. So what I did is the same thing. I don't know, I buy the small hummus because it cooks faster. And uh, for the hummus, you need boil the chickpeas until they're soft. What I do on beans or peas is I bring it to a boil and then I turn it down and I just cook them. Then uh, you drain them. A uh, one teaspoon uh, lemon juice, one third cup tahini. I will be getting some. Uh, I'm going to make the seven layer dip first, then the hummus. Uh, garlic, one or two cloves. I'll probably use garlic powder, extra virgin olive oil, and one half teaspoon uh, kosher salt. So what I do, it says drizzle the, um, the um, olive oil. I will probably show you when I, I'm going to give you a shot of the whole page in a minute. I will show you when I make the hummus. So we have, so number one thing, if you don't have that much money, do not despair. Just go to Dollar Tree or Walmart. I'm drinking Diet Coke. I'm being bad, you guys. All right, so just go to Walmart. They have all of this stuff. So um, you're going to be eating beans. So then I made a small batch of corn muffins. Because with these kind of these kind of foods, you need to combine. And uh, this is um, Julia Child's cornbread. And what is really good about the homemade stuff is look how tasty it is in the middle. 
So I want to get my recipes out there. It's very tasty. And I have my homemade, I have uh, honey. I like to eat honey. And this is the homemade butter that tastes very delicious with the cornbread. That's how we ate it in my family. So I have to give you the cornbread recipe. If you, it, it took me a long time to find this. In fact, I couldn't find it until I found a big giant Julia Child's cookbook. Uh, that's where I got my most loved um, applesauce bread. So I was really kind of, the, um, probably it's going to be like the almond milk and the oatmeal milk with the uh, soybeans you're going to learn as you go along. Okay, now, so number one is beans. There's all kinds of beans. Number two is rice. Okay, so you, you have your beans and you can have rice. Or you can have meat and then you can have rice. But the main thing I want to mention is sticky rice. Sticky rice is really good if you should have to eat sardines or um, some kind of cheap meat. <laughs> uh, boil the rice until done and all the water is gone. Top with coconut milk. You can buy it, which is what I usually do. But I store coconut so that I can make coconut milk. So you can make your own, just put your coconut in water and boil it down until you get a nice thick, um, you know, uh, milk and then blend it in the blender. And by this time, you don't even have to strain it. Top with a one quarter cup, so it's one third cup rice. This is what how much I make, you can make more. One quarter cup um, coconut milk and two tablespoons sugar and then top with mangoes. So there is the mangoes. I made a special trip yesterday to get the mangoes. Today, it was a special trip to get two more of these um, top ramen. So I ended up getting four. I got these at grocery outlet and these are a lot tastier. And also I noticed that there's not big, huge amounts of top ramen. What happened here is when we had the COVID, they bought it all. So once you get the um, sticky rice, um, you can also buy dr dry mangoes. What I do is when I get the trail mix, I get the one with the dry mangoes. Oh my gosh. I admire those people with the little boxes of food in their freezers, but um okay so you have to take my word for it so rice also rice and gravy okay number three is nuts so all these foods are foods i got at the food pantry peanut butter just roast your peanuts on both sides for 10 minutes at 250. that's why i decided to roast my um soybeans but i roasted them longer than 10 minutes they took a while i wanted them more like dried out okay um because i didn't know if they were going to be bitter just toast them put them in the blender blend them and i have learned if you blend them long enough they're practically a uh, peanut butter and then add a tablespoon of of uh, oil so you have peanut butter then nut milk like cashew almond and i have always heard that brazil nuts are the most nutritious nuts they're not cheap this bag was ten dollars so between the soybeans and the brazil nuts that was 20 bucks today but i thought it's a good thing to buy this stuff now i wanted to mention this stuff I am looking, another thing, we, it's hard to find uh, soy and it's hard to find barley. I don't eat that much barley, but it's a good thing to store. Okay, so, uh, so mainly with nuts, well, and then you can eat a little handful of nuts, but you're not, if you can't get cow's milk and you can't get protein, you have your peanut butter. 
So you have your tofu. So it's beans, rice, and nuts. Then the next thing is milk. Okay, today, out here, I go to grocery outlet and I bought this for 96 cents. And what I do is I freeze it about four cups because that's how much I usually make. Like this, this butter is four cups of milk. So that is really cheap by the time if you buy it for 96 cents. So when I go to grocery outlet, which is quite frequently, like I went today to get more Top Ramen, I take a look at the dairy and you know, they had the milk. So milk, so you can make cottage cheese and with that comes whey. And I like to use the whey to make bread. Sour cream, yogurt, cheese, gravy, I'm thinking about my batches of cheese out of the powdered milk. Maybe if I don't boil the milk, we'll have to see. But this kind of milk makes good cheese. Gravy, smoothies, and the guy in front of me was buying one of those. I go, what are you going to do with yours? Just drink it? And he goes, no, I'm going to make chocolate milk. I go, that's not a bad idea either. Let me give you a shot of the page in case you want to take a quick screenshot or hit pause. So what I do is I try to buy things like that in bulk because that ensures that I'm going to have uh, food in the house and low cost food, but good food. Also, I forgot to mention baked beans and navy beans. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Uh, beans, rice, nuts, and milk. Okay, five is bread. Okay, when I went to the, uh, so tonight was cornbread. The other night was fry bread, and then wheat bread, and then Irish soda bread, and then applesauce bread and banana bread so bread is very important but the main bread that's okay now for the cornbread i thought this is another thing if i really got to eat cornbread i want to make sure i have good corn meal because all the corn meal is not uh, created equal so the core food as soon as finances permit try to buy a big bag and try to buy the best quality you can find and like the beans okay so um also with the fry bread i noticed that the indians this is uh, american indians fry bread originated they buy the most expensive wheat flour and naturally their fry bread turns out really good and then uh if you make your fry bread with um milk or a whey that really comes out but these nut milks make good fry bread let's see if i what did i do with the recipe well i've done fry bread a couple times so for milk and then number five is eggs so at grocery outlet so all the food we've been mentioning is storable but now eggs i do freeze egg yolks but um eggs uh, I usually buy only a dozen at a time, and I usually get them marked down at Grocery Outlet. Now about sales. Okay, today I wasn't planning on buying this, but when I saw it, I picked up this tray of chicken for $3.34, 13 legs. So each leg turned out to be $0.25. Cents. So usually I get them three for a dollar. And so what I did is I just bake these um, chicken legs. I just, I put garlic and uh, pepper and then flour and I, ba I baked them with a little, um, a little oil and butter at 350. So for, so uh, that's 75 cents. Kentucky Fried Chicken is getting pricey, you guys. Oh, uh, McDonald's is coming out with a, you know, this uh, higher, I heard about this, you know, these very high prices, then they bring the prices down. They're still high, but reasonable. So McDonald's is going to have a $5 meal pretty soon. 
So, but this is a 75 cent chicken meal with my homemade cornbread. So things to look for on sale are chicken, dairy, like the milk, produce. I usually, um, I try to get the salads and stuff at Walmart marked down, produce, and I try to find hamburger marked down. So uh, if you get these core foods, and you get a lot and you start eating them you know you get recipes and you store up food in the freezer uh i wanted to mention this is for me i think i eat i eat this just about every day on my oatmeal this is more expensive but if something happens it's like the better tuna um, I'm going to be still trying to grow uh, soy. This is, I had very good luck uh, last year, and I actually, well, not very good luck, but I harvested seeds. But this year, something is aggressively eating my garden down again. Okay, you guys, I will see you tomorrow. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you all.